Oh, are you stretching? I just came in here and he was sleeping on this rug. Hello, oh, sun. Sunlight, how you feeling today? How you feeling today? You tired or you wanna play? Oh, you wanna cuddle? Okay, it is now Tuesday. I think they've had this blood work. The blood was taken on last Wednesday. So I feel like they've had this for, I thought we'd get it back on Thursday, but I think they've had it since Friday. They weren't open on the weekend. I called Friday multiple times and then they weren't open Saturday or Sunday and then they didn't call it all yesterday. So I'm just gonna call them and tell them just to send it to me. Oh my gosh, my allergies are killing me. Yes. I'm calling because I haven't heard about blood results from my kitten Pip, so I'm wondering if I can maybe talk to the doctor or just get the, maybe you guys can just email me the results. When you were here and saw Dr. He didn't go over the results with you? The blood results weren't in yet. Okay. That I was didn't on, know that. I just yeah. heard them discussing it, so I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so that so was on will... Thursday evening. Okay. And the I fluid results you... were in, but the blood results weren't in yet. I didn't hear anything. I will have him call you as okay. soon as he gets a chance. All right, thank you. All right, Pip. This is one of Milk Toast's favorite things. You get to experience the awesomeness of the printer. Here we go. <laughs> what happened? We printed off an Amazon return label, Pipper. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah, this is Malchus's favorite and most expensive toy that he likes to play with. I'm happy that you don't seem to want to play with it yet. Well, aren't you happy with yourself? I was scanning a contract for the Roll Doll contest that I'm working on, and you somehow printed it. I didn't know that you could print whatever I'm scanning with just one click of a button. Well, good job, Pippi. Hello? Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. My hair looks crazy. Here's little Pippi. He is doing so good. Tell everyone how good you're doing. Show them how good you look. Say, I look like a healed kitten. I look like a new kitten. My belly is not swollen. My eyes are not gunky. I am not sneezing. Don't prove me wrong, don't sneeze. Not sneezing. So basically, I'm gonna call the vet <laughs> for like the fifth time. Um, I'm gonna switch vets because I just am not, I've not been happy and it has nothing to do, I mean it does have to do with Pip, but um, before even, like with Paige and stuff. So I think we're gonna switch vets. I should have these blood results by now. So I called this morning and they said he'd call me again and he hasn't called me again. So at this point I'm just really frustrated because I'm pretty sure that the blood result is going to confirm his FIP diagnosis, which, ow, he just jumped on me. Which, you know, it's gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad. It's gonna be so sad. I've made peace with whatever's gonna happen to this boy because I know that he is a happy boy and if he has this disease then we'll just have to deal with it and it'll be really tough but um, I feel like I've gotten so many messages from you guys that like I was the right person to adopt him and to, <sighs> to deal with this, you little punk. Um, but anyway, I just want the blood results. Hi, um, sorry to keep calling you. This is Stacy with Pip again, waiting on his blood results. He still hasn't called you, okay. He still hasn't called me, no. It's been crazy busy, so one appointment after the other. I was waiting on Friday, so I feel like. I understand that too, I do. I you know, I, I should have just made an appointment or something at this point, because, <laughs> I mean, it's not I, like I these tests are a favor. I will have him call you. Today? I hope so, bye-bye. I know it's probably not going to be good news, but it's just sort of like, well, just give it to me because he's, my cat is acting fine. So, I'm, ow, 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 you can't.
cannot use my legs in that way as a, a tree trunk. Um, I just want more information and the blood results. Um, I'm talking to a few people, um, friends and some people that I've met online that have gone through this before too. And I don't really know all of the specifics about his fluid analysis. I know that they said that the proteins were high, but I don't know how high. And then of course I'm still waiting on his blood test to find out what his titer levels are. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like, can a cat get perfectly better if it's going to die of this disease? Um, because he feels better. I think the next step is probably to take him back into the vet again and to see if his stomach has filled up with more fluid. But, of course, that's going to be a couple hundred dollars, so I'm, you know, I'm just waiting. Because I honestly, the first couple of days, so it's Tuesday now, Tuesday afternoon, I'm putting the second video up right now. I, um, I spent a couple days with him once he started looking better, thinking, it's not possible though, he's going to take a turn for the worse. And you just keep, like, looking fine. So... Yeah, okay. I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get your hopes up because I'm pretty sure that the blood results are going to show that he still has it. Who would have thought, though, that I would have a, a FIP kitten that wouldn't get immediately sicker, right? Because this cat was already sick to begin with. He was already, like, malnourished and, like, a runt to begin with. So it would stand to reason that if he got FIP, that it would take him very quickly. There's always these stories about other cats that got FIP that lived for like a year before they passed away. That should not be him because he was already like a compromised kitten. I would just really like to get these blood results. So hopefully, I don't think I've done enough to make a video. Like I think I'll save the footage until the title of this video is probably getting the blood results. So I guess just watch the next clip. Sorry for the confusion. I had a note on Wednesday that my colleague had called and touched base with you about the results. So no, I so I, I brought my other cat in and the fluid analysis was back, but the blood results weren't back. How's little tip doing? Um, really well. I don't see any issues with his breathing. His eyes have cleared up completely. Good, good. So... Still eating, drinking, having a good appetite? Yeah, inhaling food. The fluid came back very consistent with FIP. Right, and what were the protein, like, are there actual, because I've been looking some stuff up online, like, does it say the actual numbers? So the protein count is 4.3. It was pretty high. It wasn't just a little yeah, high. Yeah, the protein is high. Part that's, that's potentially good news for us is the blood test because the blood test came back uh, negative. Now, like I mentioned before, we even started all this and started all of the testing. The blood test, unfortunately, is the least accurate test. So according to this test, which is not very accurate, he doesn't yeah, even have the coronavirus. He doesn't even have the coronavirus. Now, with that being said, this test is 13% accurate. So there's a chance this test misdiagnosed him. The hardest part with him was the amount of fluid that we got from his abdomen. And I thought that there was nothing else really that could have accounted for that protein count except for like an advanced form of cancer or something. So rare cancers can account for that. Um, liver disease can account for that. One thing we worry about in his case was parasites. So if you have parasites in your intestinal tract, depending on how much of a load you have, could that be causing enough blockage that you're losing proteins and fluids via intestinal tract? If he has FIP, these guys usually progressively get worse. Okay, so I guess I'll finish the round of Albon and then yeah, see how yeah, he's doing. The yeah, finish the anti-parasitics. He's also got the injection of antibiotics on board that's going to help him too. Okay, well thank you. Alright, okay. have a good night, okay? Alright, you too, bye. Alright, bye-bye. Huh. Part of me feels bad. I'm about to post my second video. What if he lives? And I made that whole sad video. I mean, it was real emotion at the time, and I was told by two vets that he had FIP for sure. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, so it is now Friday. I think that was on Tuesday. 
and it took a couple days for me to have time to edit it and then also just to sort of like really make sure I wanted to put this video out there because I do think it gives a lot of hope and that's a good thing but then also oh there's a bunny in the yard it's also a little scary to hope that Pip is going to live because I literally already grieved his death in a way. Anyway, I'm getting ready to live stream Farlands on my other channel, probably like right when this video goes out on my vlog channel. But I'll do a quick update on everyone. Milk. Hey. He's feeling better. He doesn't look like it right now, but he is feeling better. Hi. Hey, are you gonna bite me? Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Yep, Milk is back to normal, which is a huge relief. Paige and Molly are fine as well. And here is the Pippi. Now, he does sneeze occasionally, and it's usually like one sneeze. It's never multiple sneezes like it was. So I don't know if he's just getting stuff in his nose like a normal cat. You know, of course it's like anytime he does anything now, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a sign. But his belly looks really normal. Like it looks like it comes in. He has a little scratch on his eye that I'm letting the scab heal off of. Oh, okay. I think the next step will be on Tuesday. I'm going to take him back to the vet and I'm going to see if he has fluid in his abdomen anymore. Maybe do another x-ray to look at his liver again and if the x-ray still looks suspicious then maybe do like a full blood panel, see if he's got any other weird things going on that might have caused this other than FIP. Today is going to be his last day of his anti-parasite medicine, so the parasites should be working uh, their way out of his system as we speak. I don't know, this is, this is kind of crazy. Um, it would be great, obviously, if he didn't have this at all, but I can't put all of my hopes um, on an inaccurate test just yet. I am still keeping him separate from milk toast just to be like super safe. I'm going to try to do a much better job now of updating on Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram. So if you guys follow me on there, um, I hopefully will be posting some Instagram stories and some Twitter updates more frequently, like more, more in like real time because I definitely, um, wasn't able to do these vlogs like the same day and I will of course post more videos here but it'll just be like you know vlog normal vlogs we're just gonna go about our life Pippi and you might be here and you might not I hope you are I love you guys thank you for all of the support all of the hashtag prayers for Pip all of the artwork it's been an incredible journey with you guys to go through this and I guess the journey's not over so he's um He's doing really well, so <sighs> crazy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Go rescue a pet, you know? Go rescue a pet. All right, bye.